Move on to this story. Civil Engineering and Construction Group Esol is in hot water. The competition tribunal has fined the company millions of rands for price fixing, market allocation and collusive bidding. All this when it was in a construction cartel decades ago. Let's speak to the spokesperson for the competition commission now, Siabolela Makunga. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Makunga, for your time this evening. So this decision uh, was handed down this Thursday on the 5th of May and relates to a complaint first referred to the commission in 2009 which was then referred to the tribunal in 2011. Why has it taken 11 years for this process to be finalized and this fine to be handed down? Is it that complex? Why am I not surprised you are asking that question? Good evening and thank you very much for having us. Uh, but I think I must state that uh, these cases, especially when it comes to cartels, can be fairly complex because they require us to go deeper uh, and dig deeper into getting uh, information that would be able to compel the tribunal to see the suspicions that we have identified as the commission. So this is one of those cases. You are dealing here with a syndicate, a commercial syndicate that has been involved uh, in this kind of conduct from as far back as 1970s. And this is really cannot be an easy work to do. Uh, so, well, we, we, we must appreciate that though our investigators are doing a, an exceptional uh, good work in terms of, 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 of making sure that they request for information from the respondents uh, uh, through their lawyers, but it does take a lot of time for us to, to get uh, documented uh, information as this becomes a, a difficulty. So, uh, as indicated, these are complex cases. It doesn't take, um, you know, a, a month or a year uh, to complete, but we do appreciate the fact that finally we have been able to conclude, conclude this matter uh, as this is in the best interest uh, of many in South Africa, including small players in the construction industry. And we commend the Commission for its work. And, of course, uh, this company has been a major player in the construction pit space for more than 30 years. Uh, some high-profile uh, projects came under scrutiny during these investigations, like the Lusik Dam in Swaziland, the Sapi Seiko piling project, the Moses Mabida Stadium piling project, and the Bramhuk Dam grouting project, the Kuha Harbour diaphragm wall, uh, Khao Train rapid link project. I could go on and on. There are some big projects listed um, in, in, among the work that they've done. Um, are they the only party to have been investigated in relation to these specific projects, or are you looking at fines for maybe some other big players as well? Well, uh, in as far as this case is concerned, as indicated, we've uh, had about eight respondents, uh, three of which obviously have been uh, collectively and severally fined a 17, sorry, 15.7 million, which is really a, a fine that constitutes about 10% of their total annual turnover. But there were other respondents who made it easier for us uh, and entered into a settlement agreement. And I'm referring to uh, the four companies that is Jura, uh, Solantanche, PTY LTD that have settled with us uh, in, in 2015 for an amount of 988,000. But also uh, this include the geomet mechanics uh, that have settled with us for an amount of 1.6 million, and the other two uh, uh, have settled for uh, 800,000. But also, there is a company that uh, the tribunal felt that really uh, our application uh, against them was not compelling enough, and that application was dismissed on the basis of us not really providing documented and compelling uh, evidence against them. So looking back at the construction industry, uh, we remember 2013 uh, when the Competition Commission fined 15 major construction firms a collective 1.46 billion rand for rampant collusive tendering related to projects concluded between 2006 and 2011. What is the construction industry's outlook currently and have the Commission been able to root out these anti-competitive practices? 
Well, a, 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 a finding like this and a ruling like this from the competition tribunal does send a strong message to the construction players that indeed the competition authority, authorities does not take, uh, they take in serious light contravention of the competition law. Uh, we have made a, 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 a correct recollection of how much uh, was fined against uh, five big players uh, in the construction industry. And this, to me, uh, sends a very strong message that indeed we have no mercy uh, against anyone in the construction or any other sector for that matter, because our preoccupation is about efficiency in markets, it's about inclusivity, it's about making sure that we create a space for a meaningful participation of all players, be it small uh, or big, uh, in the in these markets. So it's important that uh, we, we we continue to to do our work without fear, favor, or prejudice uh, to ensure that we send a very strong message. But the outlook really uh, seems to be quite responsive because we have not had major cases uh, from the cases that were prosecuted, uh, prosecuted of construction, construction uh, in, 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 in 2013, as you, as, you, as you put it correctly. Uh, so we are, are having a view that indeed the market is responding well and we should be able to see uh, compliance going forward. And of course, transformation uh, is, is seriously hampered when, when these large companies uh, collude and, and uh, you know, implement these anti-competitive anti practices to dominate the market. We have to leave it there, unfortunately. Thank you so much for your insights. Uh, that was Competition Commission spokesperson Siabolela Makunga giving us an update on that fine issued to ESOL.